I'm out at Canyon Lake and it's a, a cloudy day. And for Arizona, for there to be a cloudy day, it's not very common. I think most people aren't out here today. I haven't seen barely anybody, even fishermen. I think it's because it's a cloudy day. No one wants to go out on cloudy days, but you know, I gotta say, cloudy days are the days that come out. But what this video is about is kind of the mindset of, of something I've had the difficulty in, and that's slowing down. I've been a competitive athlete for a really long time. I started running when I was eight years old. I remember my first 5K and kind of just gotten after it since then and, and, and running mainly from track, cross country, to you know marathons and then ultra marathons. And now I'm into kayaking and I, I don't solely prescribe to any particular sport. I think that would, would just put you in a box. Well, why would you want to do that? And so it's difficult for me to kind of sometimes slow down and soak in the environment because I'm normally used to just trying to go out and get those miles or get that PR. And being a, being a runner for about 24 years, um, it's kind of ingrained into you, ingrained into you, into you in high school. And you know, certain, certain personalities have it too. And, it kind of ties in too with um, this this new sport of that I'm following here and, and boats. Just briefly, you know, I'm in a canoe right now. Canoes aren't the fastest things around. Um, I'm really enjoying it for a variety of reasons, but one of the main reasons is it lets you slow down and kind of soak in more. I mean, you can still cruise quite fast in a canoe. I was going actually, the wind was helping me on flat water here. Um, you know, four and a half, I was going over five mile, miles an hour at one point, which uh, might not be as fun on this way back here. But, uh, cause uh, Canyon Lake gets quite windy and it always happens at the time you don't want it. But um, speaking to just the competitive nature of a lot of us and slowing down, it's it's a difficult thing and something I'm always working on. <clears throat> and I found kind of switching things up helps out a lot and trying new things. And boy, look, the sun, sun's coming up here. That's the cool, cool thing about clouds out here is you kind of get a lot of depth that you don't see when it's always just a incredibly bright bluebird day sky, which it mainly is in Arizona. Earlier, I was cruising the coast here, which is actually something I don't do as much as I should. I kind of, for some reason, just stray out because I'm kind of really just trying to Soak it in and, and enjoy it, but you know, I'm still still moving. Um, but keep that in mind. I, uh, I saw bighorn sheep, and if I wasn't paying attention or, or just solely focused ahead of me, I wouldn't have saw those bighorn sheep. And that's something really cool about Canyon Lake and, and this area. Most of this, uh, most of this lake or reservoir is in a canyon versus some, some other lakes here or reservoirs here in, in Arizona. And that's another reason why I like it out here. When you slow down, you can see all the different colorizations on the, the rock. And it always tricks my mind because I feel like I'm just seeing petroglyphs constantly. And I know it's not true, but it's the way the, the rocks were formed and the rain rushed over it and weathered and it gets just so much depth to it. I just love it. And if I was just solely focused on getting miles on that day, I wouldn't be able to enjoy that as much. It's all about balance, right? You got to find that balance in life. And like I said, when you're kind of raised in a competitive environment and you're always looking for that PR, it's a difficult thing to 
put you back in that balance. Sometimes you need to do things to help you. This canoe kind of helps me do that. I like it for a lot of variety of reasons over a kayak at this point, but you know, it's really not gonna be as fast as a kayak at the end of the day. I don't have a rudder. Um, it's just not as narrow. It's just, just a variety of things that aren't gonna make it faster, but you know what, that doesn't matter because it's about what you're using and, and how you use it. And generally the engine, you, I'm gonna be, I, my body and getting stronger is gonna make more of a difference in this boat than it will me just trying different things. And, and that's something I need to remind myself a lot, but it's the versatility that, that I really like and the culture. And, this, and that's what this video is about. It's just a reminder to you know, slow down, soak it in, find that balance and enjoy what you're doing, whatever it might be, running, biking, canoeing, kayaking, and don't put yourself in a box. Do a lot of different things. Now, I don't know if it's gonna get really windy on the way out. It tends to get windy in the canyons on the way out. And it's, that's okay, it's just another challenge. Just another challenge to to be stronger and face adversity. When you get close to this rock, you just see so much detail. And like I said, I do wonder sometimes if I'm not seeing things. Maybe I might be seeing some petroglyphs or some lost artifacts. This, this was filled up because it was dammed up and there were so many things lost. I don't think this area was properly surveyed before it was filled up. And below me, there, could, there likely was a lot of different Native American cultural artifacts lost and that breaks my heart. While I'm enjoying that what we have now because it is filled up, it's kind of bittersweet because we likely lost a lot of history. But at the end of the day, just remember balance. It's something I constantly try to re remind myself of. It looks like it's gonna be clearing up a little bit here. Clouds are moving away. Nature knows balance, as always. Hey, if you like this video and what I'm talking about, give me a thumbs up, give me a subscribe. I'd appreciate it. I do these videos because I wanna bring you along on the journey. I enjoy it. I got a lot of stuff on my mind. Why not document it, right? It could help you, give you a reminder. I really appreciate you watching. There's nothing like the calm sound of water. Have a good one.